What's going on everybody? This is Alex USA Days and today we're with uh, beautiful Masha. Uh, we will talk about how to actually get a Russian girl to like you. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> I guess, well, it's just, I like how we're standardizing all Russian women to me. But if you follow all of these rules, I will like you. <laughs> Just a public, public service announcement, I am married. So <laughs> I but I will still like you. Yeah, but I will still like you. You will be great. How, do they, how does it work? Because we know that uh, for Americans, it's a big problem to approach Russian women. A lot of uh, times they seem to be very harsh. Like they would blew you off right away saying like, why, like, why do you? How do you say that? I was trying to impersonate Russian accent, but they will actually tell you, why do you speak to me, basically? Like, what's what's your business? So how do you actually work around that? What's, what's, are they really mad? What's going on? I don't think they're really mad. Right. I think that a lot of men, okay, I'm not kind of eliminating the fact that obviously, even if this woman was Russian and a Russian gay, guy came up to her, she wouldn't have that same reaction. Right. Maybe she just doesn't like what this guy looks like or whatever, what he says. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of times uh, men just kind of approach maybe too aggressively sometimes or at the same time, maybe not aggressively enough. Right? Or she has a boyfriend. Or she has a boyfriend, right? And you're screwed. A story from real life and the guy wasn't approaching me. The guy was approaching a friend right. and he was drunk and he was grabby and he uh, was, you know, and this was at the club and his friends were, you know, totally nice and totally polite and you could hold a conversation right. with them. And this guy, also really good looking guy, seems like, you know, he has it all together. But at the same time, you get out with him on the dance floor and he starts going for all the things he shouldn't be going for, <laughs> you know? So I feel like you first and foremost, be polite don't be you know an asshole and right. don't use some soiled pickup line that you like i like your accent where are you from or <laughs> uh, one guy asked me and this is funny because he was russian of mm. russian origin but he was very very americanized and so this conversation took place in english and um I mentioned that part of my previous job was to make sure that patients were happy. Mm -hmm. And he said, and whose job is it to keep you happy? That didn't go anywhere. Yeah. My mom's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My mom's. My mom. Yeah. So that didn't go anywhere. So no cheesy pickup lines. Start a conversation. Ask her how right. her day is going. Yeah, how maybe her day went bad. Yeah. How was your day? Yeah. Good, yeah. good question to ask. Yes. Yep. Are you busy? Like, do you Can have, I speak with you? Uh, Are you? Do you have time to talk? Do you have? Hey, my name is Alex. Do you have time to talk? I'm so busy. You need help. Whatever. You what know? do you think about NASA's development and the, all of that stuff about Pluto? Is it going to be a planet again? I know it's weird, but actually, you can ask <laughs> questions like that. I guess. Yeah, I, I feel like I never tried. <laughs> that would work for me. That's okay. Hey, like, oh yeah, New Horizons. Be nice, not stereotyping, approaching Russian girls. Uh, if she blows you off, say, I'm sorry, like, let, let me try one more time. Like, I just want to talk. Don't be too aggressive. If she says no again, then okay, you know. How do you say навязчивый in English? Annoying. Don't um, be annoying. Don't be, don't be creepy. Don't be creepy. <laughs> oh. Not good. Don't be creepy. <laughs> All right. I like your face. I, I like your lips. Can I touch them? <laughs> Don't go there. All right. First step, let's say it was successful. You are actually to able to uh, approach her. Now, how do you go after that? What do you do? You go for a date. You, you buy her some vodka. What do you do? Okay. So let's, I guess the scenario would be meeting at a bar or at a club. Mm -hmm. Let's just say, right? You've never seen this girl before. This is not, you know, a work thing where kind of maybe she feels like she needs to talk to you because who knows you're a good networking opportunity right. but yeah so let's just say this is you're just going out you see this beautiful girl you think she's russian now should you be feeling like on the first date let's say you invited her to the bar just i don't know to walk in the park whatever she's up to or you would be going running together in the morning it could be any scenario but should you be flashy like should you be show your car if you have a good car should you throw money at her like 
paying for her and stuff. I mean, I don't know. Would it work? I think, I mean, Could once it? again, depending on who you're trying to attract, mm -hmm. if you are very well off and you're looking for a trophy wife, good for you. Right. That would work. Yeah, you can you can actually uh, attract a gold, dig gold digger. Gold digger real, really easily. She'll be but throwing money. I also feel like, you know, if you're going to show what you have, it's going to be up to you to figure out if that person now somehow is acting differently with you. Right. I really think that I really think that if a, a girl really likes you, it's not going to matter, you know, what you're driving or what you have. Be respectful. I feel like respectful yeah. is first and foremost. Right. I feel like in Russian culture, respecting respect women. and respecting women is is very important. Yeah. So you don't you don't go and joke about her in front of your friends or say some stupid thing like I don't know whatever your teeth are crooked I don't know what could it be but. or I think this is this one this one is I think will hit close to home with a lot of Russian women if you think that her accent is adorable she probably doesn't think so right she probably thinks that she can't pronounce the damn th and it's annoying her and it's and she feels self-conscious about it so don't be pointing it out in public. Like don't be like, oh, say that again. Yeah. Say that again how you say it. I love how you say it. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> out, yeah. done. Right. I still can't say my V's and my W's sometimes. White wine becomes a white wine and it's just yeah, not good. It. Don't point that out. People are self-conscious about that. People care. So I think the advice we could give here is just be yourself and don't try too hard because you can actually ruin it by uh, being too flashy and she will change her intentions or I don't know she will be just there for the money and that's possible and I'm not stereotyping Russian girls I'm just saying it's possible in the relationship regarding if it's men or women or coming from any part of the world Africa Alaska doesn't matter um, all right so when you actually got the date uh, you were yourself you were talking you like each other what's the next step how do you like uh, when it's time to go and say, hey, you want to meet my parents? So do even Americans do that? Yeah. I think Americans don't do that until like you really need to. Uh -huh. um, but a lot of times I feel like for Russian women, their families, especially if they're also in the United States, um, are yeah. very important for them. The approval of their family members is very important to yeah. them. We're not saying that Americans' uh, families are not important. They, they certainly are, but for Russian women, uh, that her mom likes the guys is very important. Yeah. It's very, very, very important because unfortunately, yes, as much as you want to think that you're your own adult person and you know what is best for you and you know what's good for you, you know, Russians are raised to think that your family does have some sort of wisdom given their life experience and their, you know, just just parental wisdom and you know if you're the chosen woman uh yeah the woman of your choosing is is in a good relationship with her family her family's opinion is really going to mean a lot to her yeah if she if she's not you'll probably never see her yeah. yeah yeah so it's that, kind of that happens as well that happens as well right you can you can she can be in a really good relationship with her parents and her whole entire family or they can live somewhere else. She can see them on holidays and you don't even have to come because she just wants to get that over with. All right. How about the first date uh, present? Uh, will bottle of vodka do or no? no? And don't say that. No, don't bad jokes that. again. Bad jokes. I, um, I, I feel like, you know, a, a flower or two. Not two, because two is for death. Funerals. <laughs> you will die. No, okay, okay. <laughs> It, it's not so much in the United States. In Russian culture, yeah. if you bring an equal number of flowers, even even equal, even, equal. Num <laughs> even number of flowers to a date, uh, in Russia they all bring it only to funeral. So if you buy flowers, and I know they sell here only even, and a lot of women don't care. But if she just came, if she's like brand new, don't uh, bring two. two months out of the boat, are you gonna use that right? Don't say that. <laughs> If a woman uh, has I'm recently sorry. immigrated from a different country into the United States, here's from Masha. Her, this message has been politically correct. Corrected. Corrected by, by Masha. Masha. All right, so uh, 
if you're buying her a bouquet and here in the United States, they usually sell them by a bunch, like, I don't know, 10, 12, 12 take one out. Just yeah, throw it out. out. Put it in your... Take one out and put it in your if bi- you go bedroom. on a second date with her, you can bring just the one next to <laughs> Or to the other girl. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that! <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think a bouquet of flowers, a bouquet of flowers or three flowers is good enough for mm-hmm. a first date. Uh, and buying her some coffee and, uh, I don't know, a marshmallow at the Starbucks is, or an ice cream. It's a, it's a, I would like that. yeah, that's, that's more than enough. You don't have to go take her to the fancy restaurant. Yeah. You know, it's more about talking and getting each other in the first phases. So, uh, you're buying her an ice cream, you're buying her some flowers, you're showing that you're not, uh, how do you, greedy. But you're also not being flashy and not throwing money at her. And then after that, you kind of start talking more. And then uh, then we go back to you because I, what, what do you talk about? I, I, I also want to kind of point this thing out about being greedy. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not that a Russian woman can't pay for her own dinner. And I understand a lot of men that don't necessarily want to pay on a first date because why invest in this woman i feel like that's that's a lot of the the back thinking mm-hmm. but you might think that however the woman is gonna think that and this is how russian women they like plan your whole entire lifetime together with you because they they do that on the first date and think any woman does that right but she's gonna think if you didn't want to pay for dinner you're probably not gonna want to pay for her manicure at one point when she's gonna be unemployed after carrying your child but that's just you know that's just projecting into the future but don't paying for manicure who does that <laughs> i'm not paying for anybody's manicure except mine all right okay <laughs> all right anyways just don't come off as sleazy greedy creepy anything that ends with an ep don't <laughs> don't do that yeah Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a story. A guy was not buying water. I, actually, he bought some water for a girl, a bottle of water, and then he asked her for a dollar for that water, and then they never saw again afterwards. But uh, he really liked her. He started apologizing, sending her flowers and all that stuff. But, dude, you already blew it. <laughs> I mean, he was like, he was, he was, he, he fell in love, and he thought he, he was ready to buy her a car. She didn't want anything from him because of that one dollar bottle of water. Think about that. Think so you might just buy that water. You can't have a first impression twice. Right. Yeah, you you might buy that water, but she will never ask for more. Any, any, and turns out soon. that bottle of water would have been his biggest investment. Exactly. And it would have been the cheapest investment that he could the, have made. The car later didn't work. She didn't want it. She didn't want the car. She didn't want to see him, talk to him, nothing. So think about that. It's, it gets a little complicated with Russian women sometimes. I think it gets. I think it's with any women. Yeah, why are we? It gets complicated with it women. It gets complicated with women. Yeah. All right. So what do you actually talk on the first date? What do you say? How do you like? Don't talk about your work. Yes, you can talk about what you do and mention where you a little, work. Just mention a little. Right. But don't talk about you know your intense yeah. physics research in a lab. Yeah. You never know. Maybe that was her least favorite subject. Yeah. And then she'll just nix it. Maybe she'll be bored. Yeah. You don't like talk about, ask about her family. Ask about what she likes to do for fun. Um, Write it down. Russian women are human. What you would talk to your friend about, maybe like not to your best friend who knows all your dirty details, (laughs) but like what you would talk to just any human being that you see is what you should talk to, uh, what you should talk about to a woman. Yeah. I mean, I think, uh, you should ask her like, how was her day? What did she do? And Russian women, a lot more about listening. Like she would like you more, the more you listen to her, you ask about her life, you ask about what she likes like uh i don't know like ask why she likes that place how often she comes here why did she choose that if you if you let her to choose the place or or how she likes new york what's her favorite parts and ask you know uh, about her things she likes to do as you mentioned so asking more listening like 
and by listen I mean listen and not being in your phone once she, while she talks because that that's gonna ruin it as well uh, so a lot of attention that that probably works better than talking about yourself all the time don't talk about yourself all the time even if you think you're great yeah she'll probably realize that too without she, you having to say right it. if you'll be talking about yourself all the time, she'll think you're just a, a dickhead just conceited like a woman this is once again not just about Russian women a woman does not want to listen to you talk about yourself mm-hmm. should be listening to her talk about herself but like I said it's just I feel like it just puts you in a bad light in a light that you don't want to necessarily be in yeah all right so how about let's say the first day date went okay so what's going after that how is it gonna work make sure that you follow up make sure that you don't wait three days don't wait three days make sure that you send a text message same night saying oh it was great saying so nice to meet you great time i mean of course if it was a great time if you're interested in seeing this woman again but don't do this whole i'm gonna wait it out to not seem desperate like don't play games do not play games if you don't want to see this woman again make that clear if you want to see this woman again also make it clear like just don't play games follow up give her a call try to plan something don't wait for her don't wait for her to invite you to the next day right no how about sex when sex is appropriate like after only after marriage (laughs) sex is appropriate God, Alex. Uh, I didn't... Oh, my God. I'm totally kidding. Um, Like, what would you give? I think there are... I think you need to play by ear. Um, meaning, is this girl religious? Maybe this is something to discuss on your first date. <laughs> How about that? Talk about, is she religious? Then right. no sex for you. Um, you know... It what depends. are her values? You need to, you, you watch, I feel like you need to just read the person, right. you know, she seems open-minded, but like, no, you, like, w- there was this movie, this is actually super embarrassing for me, I was a very sheltered child, and I went to see uh, Knocked Up when I was 17, and I was sitting in the room with my boyfriend at the time. And on the screen, the main character was like, oh, well, what did you think was going to happen on a, on a second date? And it was like, oh, I just thought I was going to get, you know, what is it called? Like a BL? Blowjob? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was like, oh, I was, just thought I was getting like a second date BL. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, I don't know what that means. And I'm like, I'm like, what is, I'm like, I was like, hey, I was like, what does that mean? And my boyfriend looks at me like, obviously, he wasn't getting it. Because <laughs> oh you need God. to know. Yeah. So you need to play by ear. You need to see what this girl's values are, what this girl's intentions are, what kind of family she comes from. So, I mean, the, the rule of thumb, I think, if this woman is not religious, you know, sex and intimacy is included in a relationship in prior package. to marriage, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll give my own opinion and maybe I'm giving out a big secret on that, but... I, think, I will censor him, if anything. Right. Uh, I think two weeks plus max one month is the limit if you're actively seeing each other like every other day. Because after that, it might be, become a game of like, oh, how long this guy will last? And that's true for some girls. Like if you if if you're trying not not enough, like inviting her to your house, giving her a drink, hugging her, kiss, and if you're not doing that, and you're being way too shy, in a month or two, she'll be like, okay, I guess I'm not getting anything, and then the, she'll be just like, uh, let's see how long this guy will last, and she might have, I don't know, have to find someone else. I think this is just the 20th century, 21st century girl, rather than I think it's just girls. Girls? Any girls? girls? I don't know. That's what I learned. So, uh, th- <laughs> look at him. Look at his life experience over here. It's just That's what, what I've I read learned. in books. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the the dating for dummies. <laughs> <laughs> what else left? So we talked about sex. We talked about 
uh, first, about sex. I, I, okay, first date, uh, approaching girl. What else? Like how relationship overall? How do you build a relationship? I think you need to be consistent um, in a way that if you really are invested in, you know, in having a relationship with this specific girl, you need to be consistent. You need to consistently show that you care. Consistently show that she is important and she's part of your life. Not just like call her up when you are completely free and you have nothing to do. Like, you yeah, know, plan if... around your work schedules. Um, you, need, you need to be consistent. You really do need to show that you care. A lot of Russian women are looking for somebody with serious intentions. They're not looking for, excuse my language, <clears throat> buddies, you know, like they, they are looking for relationships. So you just need to be consistent and you need to show that you are, you do have serious intentions. I guess and it... if you don't, then don't waste your time. Just pay. <laughs> oh, that was bad again. But yeah, I mean, if she's... This is who's giving Russian women better up. <laughs> if she's sick, uh, home, yeah. and you're not afraid of germs because some people are... Bring her that chicken soup. Yeah, make sure you take care of her. Brings her uh, chai svarinim, what is it, like tea, tea with... with uh... honey and lemon. Ask her, does she need anything? Yeah. So the relationship should go on and they should develop and you should yeah. be kind of, if you're serious, you should be like thinking more about you and her instead of just you. Yes. Um, also, if yeah. you're already in a relationship, I feel like a lot of times, um, because in the United States, independence is very much encouraged and appreciated. But I feel like if you're in a relationship, don't just be like, Oh, by the way, tomorrow I'm leaving to Croatia for two weeks. Peace out. Like, have this conversation with her. Like, obviously you guys are dating. She's not going to be like, no, you're not going to Croatia. But be like, hey, like, I'm planning this trip. I just want to let you know. Like, mm. don't, don't constitute fact. Right. Like, make it seem like what she has to say and just her, it, that she's just important and that she, that she matters. Mm -hmm. Her opinion matters. Oh, ask her like about clothing. They like that. Like if you like, you know, when when somebody gets to dress you, yeah, oh, advice. Like, they like oh, giving like... advice. <gasps> Just, everybody wants <laughs> to look at look at my awesome boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, no, but one more thing that I think is important to mention. You might disagree with me on that, but I found that relationship, especially with Russian women, Russian women can be really uh, manipulating. Did I pronounce it? Manipulative. Right? Manipulative, especially if they learn how to. And uh, they can be like getting stuff they want through the conflict. And that's, that's really bad. Uh, and eventually it might kill the relationship. So what I want to stress here, it's very important how you start your relationship and you behave. Because she might try a trick or two, like she would start crying, let's say, or screaming or doing something. You gotta, if it's just the beginning of the relationship, you gotta make sure you stop. You say no, you ignore her until she comes down and then you you talk to her, listen, we, we can discuss things, I understand you're upset, but we're gonna do it in a calm way. Don't let it go out of hand because next time she'll find out that works, she will do the same thing and then gonna that's gonna go through all your relationships. So mega important, like I can't stress that enough. Make sure you build your relationship from day one the way you want them to be. Um, it's true, but I also think that it's true for all women. Right. Personally, my tears no longer work on my husband. He just walks out of the room. Did 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 that begin like that or not? No. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't begin like that. I also am going to stress that I use them only when I need to, <laughs> but but it but it's true. If if you, you know, keep Here's here's one thing. This is completely on a tangent, sort of, but kind of related. Do not think that you can that you can buy somebody's happiness. Happiness. Mm -hmm. Don't think that if you plan a boys' weekend, 
And she thought that you guys were doing something together. And then you're just kind of like, once again, constituting the fact that I'm going to be out of town that day. And it doesn't, and the plans don't include you. Don't think that you can just buy her a pair of shoes and that is going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Because a sh like a pair of shoes d does not replace your attention. Right. It does not replace you caring. You can buy hundred pairs of shoes but that weekend that you spend with her she's probably gonna care about it more yeah so to kind of work that out you just tell in advance in the weeks you say you have in this uh with your friends you're going out there's no girls so like i'm going by myself she she might be upset uh then you you know let's okay you say well don't don't be afraid and first of all relationship begin with trust you have to trust each other right uh, but if that's there, just tell her, well, then let's do something on Sunday together. Saturday I'll be there. Let's do something on Sunday together. Most likely she'll be fine with that. But then if she's starting screaming, if she's starting throwing things around, if she's going to, I'm going to find someone for the weekend while you're there, you know what? Tell her to fuck off and just leave. And then end the relationship. That's the end of the story. I'm glad this video included a, a male perspective and a female perspective because... This is something. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's Anyways, what I've I think that a lot of his generalizations and cautionary tales are about all women in general. Okay. But th I think the moral of this story is respect. Respect and don't be afraid to approach. If you approach in a normal, non creepy way, like a normal human. Like a normal human. Basically, normal. what we're trying to say is that Russian women are not a, a separate breed of women. Right. Yeah. Exactly. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, by the way, Masha has her own channel description going to be below underneath. Hit like if you like the video, share it, and bye-bye.